हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू आर यूट्यूब चैनल सो फ्रेंड्स जैसा कि पता है कि आज एटीन अप्रैल को टी सी का एग्जाम था एंड यू कैन से दिस इज सेकेंड लास्ट शिफ्ट ऑफ टी सी एस एन क्यू सो इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोन टाक वट आर द कोडिंग क्वेश्चन दैट वाज आज टुडे इन फर्स्ट शिफ्ट ओके सो कम्प्लीट सोल्यूशन बात करूंगा सो वीडियो का आप अंत देख रहे देखते रहे एंड फ्रेंड्स वन ऑफ द थिंग दैट आई वन टेल यू दैट इफ यू आर द कैंडिडेट सो गन पार्टिसिपेट इन फर्दर फेज then i will suggest go and watch our previous all the video uh, means of the previous shift okay agar aap candidates वैसे भी है जो कि आप 2026 और 2027 further year mein exam dene wale then i will suggest must go through all the uh, previous shift or previous year questions because that will be important for you because question is repeating friends okay i will now means in further video i will also tell that one question repeated or you can say as it is question came from the tcs tag test so that's why it is important to go through all the previous shift question okay so i have already created a playlist go and watch that that will be important to you so without wasting time let me come to the first question that was asked today so first question was related to the find common height difference or detect invalid input okay so jab main aapko example de dunga then you will have clear cut idea that what was actual question okay so here you have to basically find the common height difference or you have to detect the invalid input so what are the question you have given or you have to take the input of height of tree of four consecutive beaks and calculate the difference between each beak so after calculating the difference if height is negative then you have to return not valid input as output if any two beakly difference are same then you have to return return the difference okay when i will give example then it will much clear so have a patience next uh, last is that if all the differences are different then you have to return or you have to print to the console as none so this was pretty much easy question if you uh, able to crack the logic then it was quite easy so what are the approach i'm going to apply here so here first step i will check that whether height is negative or not okay means first of all i will i will calculate height by finding the difference between two consecutive beaks and then i will check that if height is negative or not if height is negative then i will print to the console as not in valid input okay or not valid input next just that which i have said that you have to calculate the difference so difference one will be what height 2 minus height 1 difference 2 will be height 3 minus height 2 and difference 3 will be height 4 minus height 3 means me kya bolna cha raha hu suppose these are the four height 2 4 6 7 so i will uh, calculate the difference 4 minus 2 then 6 minus 4 and share minus 6 so three height or you can say three difference i will calculate now according to the condition whatever the condition they are asking in the question i will apply that logic i will just print the uh, means uh, to the console so this was the quite easy question if you able to crack the logic then this was not so much difficult and as i have talked to candidates they said that i able to pass this question easily okay so let us consider one example that 2 4 6 7 so now you can see the differences are 4 minus 2 that is 2 okay suppose let me give you detailed explanation that first difference will be what 4 minus 2 and that will be equal to 2 second difference will be 6 minus 4 that will be equal to again 2 and third difference is 7 minus 6 so you will get this as 1 so you can see here that two difference are appearing same 4 minus 2 will be 2 and 6 minus 4 equal to 2 means if you will subtract 4 and 2 then it will give same difference and 6 and 4 it will give same difference so according to question what they are saying that if differences are same means if two bigly differences are same then you have to return the difference so i will return the difference as 2 here so that's why it is giving the output as 2 i hope clear coming to other example suppose 5 10 11 13 if you will uh, uh, calculate the difference then 10 minus 5 equal to 5 11 minus 10 equal to 1 and 13 minus 11 equal to 2 so all the differences are different then in that case you have to print none you can see the question they are saying that if the differences means all the differences are different then you have to print none and last case you know that will be the not valid input means if any input or if any beak you are taking as negative value then it will consider as a non valid input so this was quite easy question let me go to the c++ code remember friends i will provide python and java code from the description or in the comment box so you can check that code okay but here just i will uh, explain c++ code okay friends you have to understand the logic okay language doesn't matter if you able to crack the logic then it is quite easy to uh, write the code and pass the test cases so first of all i am declaring the hashtag include i stream i means i am including a library using namespace standard now uh, declaring the main method and taking the input or height at h1 h2 h3 h4 now 
I will take the input. Okay, so C in H1, H2, H3, H4. Dear friend, this thing C out I have written for your convenience. Okay, you have to not uh, print anything in the console that uh, enter the input or not. You have to take input directly. Okay, ये मैं आपके सुविधा के लिए just मैं include किया हूँ. Next, I am just calling the function find common difference or invalid and passing the argument, passing the parameter H1, H2, H3, H4. Now coming to the logic, what I am, what I am applying here. So first thing that I am applying logic that if any heights have a negative value then i will print as not valid input because they have they have clear cut said that if any height is negative then return non valid input so that's the same thing i'm doing next i'm calculating the difference so difference 1 h2 minus h1 difference 2 h3 minus h2 difference 3 h4 minus h3 and now just i'm applying the logic so if difference 1 equal to difference 2 or difference 1 equal to difference 3 then it will just I am returning two string to difference one means I am converting difference one in two string. Okay, so you have to comment if you are the candidates who have been exam to you must comment here that you have to print the output as number or in the string form. As I have talked to the students, then they have said that you have to print in string form. That's why I am converting into two string. Otherwise, if they are saying that you have to just print the number, then you can just directly print the number. Okay, that doesn't matter. Just you have to crack the logic, friends. Again, saying I am. Next, if difference 2 equal to difference 3, means if two difference are same, then you have to return any one difference. They are saying, if any, means if any two difference are same, then return that difference. So, just that's why I'm returning the difference and otherwise none. So, when it will return none, if all the difference have unequal value. Clear? So, this is quite easy question. Uh, let me do the uh, dry run and let me run this code. So, enter height of 4 weeks. So, I'm giving the same things 2, 4, 6, 7. 2, 4, 6, 7. So, according to our requirement, it is giving 2 because 2 difference are same. That is 4 minus 2 equal to 2 and 6 minus 4 equal to 2. So, if 2 difference are same, then you have to print the difference. Let us take other example. Suppose I am taking the difference uh, means uh, as negative. So, I am taking one difference as minus 5, then 6, then 8 and 4. So it will print not valid input because in question they have clearly mentioned that if any big input is negative then you have to print the non-valid input so this was quite easy question so let us move to a second question remember friends i will provide python and java code in the description so no need to worry about that and i will provide complete code question link pdf in the description from where you can get directly access to this okay so just Friends, if you like our work, then please support and subscribe us. That is important for us. And I need nothing. Just support us by subscribing this channel. Let me come to the second question. That is repeated from the TCS tag test. And this question is very early. I think this question came in 2024 to 2023 and 2022 too. So this question is very important. Hai. That you have to just generate all distinct permutation of a string. So what is the problem statement? You are given a string consisting of lowercase or uppercase letter. That doesn't matter. You have task or your task is to generate all distinct permutation of the string means simply aapko kya karna hai ki kitna means string diya rahega uska kitna number of permutation possible hai usko aapko console mein print karna hai either they may ask to print the uh, total number of the things so that will quite easy means that a factorial ke functions laga ke kar sakte hai but agar aapko yahan print karna hoga all the distinct value then you have to basically use the logic okay jo ki main just batane wala hu theek hai now Coming to the input scenario, so you have to take the length from 1 to 10, okay, I mean string length 1 to 10 and you have to basically print the output. So suppose I am taking the input as ABC, then uh, you know if there are 3 uh, strings or you can say if there are 3 characters in a string, then it will be 3 factorial that is 6 permutation, your unique permutation will be there. That is ABC, ACB, BAC, BCA, CAB and CBA. So you have to uh, print the total number of permutation besides that the all permutation okay so other up candidates as you know exam you must uh, comment here that you have to print total permutation or both okay but for your convenience i have included both and you can easily solve so i'm going to prove the kata with tcs tag test me a question which i got the same question you can say this is the tcs tag test question okay that is happened the, uh, from the code beta one of the key just throws a logic change here that uh, you have to take the input abc in a different way okay means number of times you have to take input but question up same at okay? so chali bata hum code kya hai so code i will explain same because question is same okay so what i am taking i am taking input n1 n2 n3 remember friends here you have to take the string directly that is just you can uh, get line 
okay means you can use get line or in python you can directly take the input as abc but uh, uh, try to understand the logic that i want to say here i am taking n1 n2 n3 and i am just i am cons means uh, making the string okay so means uh, according to the input scenario i am just taking the input next i am calling the generate permutation function passing the string and basically i am pr uh, printing out the result so in there i am just using the basic recursion the that if index equal to str dot length means that will be your base case so i will return the result or you can say i will add this string to the result okay so insert the permutation set to a y duplicate and now just i equal to index to i less than str dot length i plus plus i am just swapping str i and str index so dono ko main swap karke fir se generate permutation ko call kar raha hu theek hai so ye bahut hi easy hai and then after that i am just backtrack to the previous state jinko agar kuch doubt hai to main is is ka bhi means tcs tag test mein jo question pucha gaya tha uska bhi description mein aapko link de dunga aap wahan se direct check kar sakte ho wahan par main detailed mein एक एक ड्राई रन करके बताया हूँ तो इसलिए मैं ज्यादा यहाँ डिटेल में डिस्कस नहीं कर रहा हूँ तो आप वो उसका हेल्प ले सकते हैं ठीक है सो दिस क्वाइट इजी क्वेश्चंस ओके मींस इफ यू हैव अर्लियर सीन दैट देन इट इज क्वाइट इजी क्वेश्चन अदरवाइज आपको बहुत ही डिफिकल्टी फेस करने को मिलेगा क्योंकि यही क्वेश्चन है जिसमें बहुत सारे कैंडिडेट्स बोल रहे थे दैट दे कूडंट एबल टू सॉल्व द क्वेश्चन ओके Besides that, you can use other method by using the next permutation. You know, in C++ there is a uh, method that is called next permutation. So you can use next permutation. Here I am taking the string C in input. I am calling the print all distinct permutation function, where I am just declaring a set that name is unique permutation. Now I am sorting it. Why I am sorting? Because they said that you have to uh, store or you have to means uh, uh, output the value. According to alphabetical order means A B C A C B B A C. You can see alphabetical order in dictionary level order. I am printing it. That's why I am sorting it. Then I am just uh, calling the next permutation function s dot begin s dot end. Okay. Remember friends, this is the condition, or you can say for applying the next permutation, there is a prerequisite that you have to sort the array. ये आप याद रखिए आप कि आप अगर जिनको doubt है just next permutation को आप chat GPT या कहीं Google पे search करके देख लीजिए वहाँ पर condition आपको है कि If you want to use next permutation, then first of all we have to sort the array, then allow uh, means uh, then pass the or uh, then do calculation on next permutation function. Okay, so I am doing it. Just unique permutation, which set was set, set only, so that the unique value is stored. Okay, so I am just inserting the value to the set, and after that I am just printing to the console. So this was quite easy. Means you can use both approach, either recursive approach or using the next permutation approach. Okay. so this was the complete question which i asked today i hope this video informative to you if you like our work then please support and subscribe us kyunki aap dekh sakte friends starting of first shift se till last shift tak main question sabhi shift ka answer main aap logo ko de chuka hu analysis ke sath so itna to aap kar sakte just support us that will be helpful and jo bhi candidate se further exam dene wale hain will suggest must watch our previous फेजेज क्वेश्चन एंड आंसर बिकॉज दैट विल इंपॉर्टेंट क्योंकि आप देख सकते हैं क्वेश्चन टी सी एस भाई रिपीट कर रहा है सेम क्वेश्चन को थोड़ा सा आप कह सकते हैं कि बर्ड बर्ड में थोड़ा चेंज कर देगा बट क्वेश्चन सेम रहेगा ठीक है यहाँ पर देख सकते हैं क्वेश्चन में कुछ चेंज नहीं हुआ बस इनपुट सेनारियों में चेंज कर दिया गया यहाँ पर आपको पहले नंबर ऑफ टाइम्स लेना था मीन टी सी एस टेक्ट में जो पूछा गया था देर यू हैव टू टेक द नंबर ऑफ टाइम्स ए अपियर बी अपियर सी अपियर देन यू हैव टू मेक स्ट्रिंग एंड आफ्टर दैट यू हैव टू बेसिकली जस्ट कॉल द नेक्स्ट परमोटेशन फंक्शन सो जस्ट आपको लॉजिक समझना है ठीक है सो आई होप इन्फॉर्मेटिव टू यू इफ यू स्टिल एवं इंक्वायरी फिर फ्री टू आस्कर कमेंट है आई फिल वेरी हैप्पी टू हेल्प यू एंड आई विल प्रोवाइड ऑल द कोड इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन सो होप इन्फॉर्मेटिव टू यू मस्ट कमेंट हेयर दैट हाउ मेन टेस्ट केस यू हैव पास टूडे एग्जाम एंड बेस्ट ऑफ लॉक टू दल द कैंडिडेट्स वन ऑफ पार्टिसिपेट इन फर्दर फेजेस ऑफ टीशियस एंड क्यूटी थैंक यू